Boom. Intro. Peace. How's everyone doing? Well, I got three more customs ready. All four people. You've already pretty much seen every one of these before. But, just did three more. All four people. This is a uh, general leave for the customizer. This is a bad man for Mr. George Cota. I hope I'm saying his name right. C O T A. And uh, I told him I was going to make him something else too. I made him one of those a 55 gasser and a 55 panel. Rat Fink. He's got that decal on that door. The other decals are pretty much the same. And Brother Rat Fink on that door. Of course, luckily I should say, nice and glassy. This one I did the front grill a little different. I wish I'd have done them all that way, but I went ahead and added the chrome uppers. But, you know, just makes them unique. And the General Lee, and she came out nice and glassy as well. That's a great stance. I got sick of these uh, falling off, so I actually drill little holes in there and push it inside and glue it. So that should not come off. But she has a nice look to her. There's a little flaw in the casting right there. Little chip. Dang, I, I didn't want to sand it out because it would just, it's way too deep. So, that will be the customizer's identification mark. And this one, of course, I did a little bit underneath. Again, not a whole lot to do underneath in 70s. The 69 actually has a little more. Not much to do under there either. And then, uh, Get a little under there. There's a little more you could do to this one, you know. And the wheelie bars were falling off of some people, so I've made the wheel a little wider back there. Glued it a little better. Hopefully it doesn't come off. And I glued them even better up in there. So hopefully they do not come off. But... That's what I did so far this weekend. I probably need to do more. I do these three at the same time so I can knock them out in about, I'll, you know, give it time for everything to dry and all. It's, it's probably about a, a week complete process, mainly on these two. You can do this one in about a lot faster but this one I gotta let it dry those two paints well this one was the new one it didn't do too bad but that's still the old Krylon fusion I have to let it dry longer before I clear it but uh, I don't think that yellow came out too terribly bad that's that new yellow and uh, once it's dried cleared and all it's just a tad bit darker i mean you really hardly notice it if you didn't see the other one you probably wouldn't even notice it i just saw a speck on the door i was like what but now that came off so yeah we can get them done a little quicker so anyway i kind of wanted to surprise mr coda with this one 
so that he uh, didn't want to tell them ahead of time. But um, they're both premiums. This is the premium 55. This is the premium 55. I mean, after all, it's what he gave me. But, of course, his were, you know, them red line club or whatever they are. They're, they're the super nice ones. But hopefully he'll like these. And hopefully the customizer will like his. And, you know, there's a... People may have noticed the white, the flag, there's usually a white border around the edge. And I may try to leave a little bit of it in the future, but the reason I trim it off is, as you see, it, it's kind of tight up there. It's like there's barely enough room to get all that up there. But in the future, I may try to leave the white border around the edge, because the General Lee does have that small white border around the edge. And try to move these down a little bit. You know, maybe it'll make a little, I mean, it'll, it looks fine, but to be more, you know, to closer to the General Lee, I probably should leave that white border around the edge. But, I mean, I haven't. Nobody seems to have noticed, but that's why. As you can see, it's really tight up there. Not a whole lot of room. But I could, I could let these General Lees roll over the edge a little bit, I suppose. But anyway, that's what we got, guys. And uh, hopefully everybody likes them. I got to get started on my next batch. And uh, like I said, I'm going to make some of these and throw them on my website eventually so people can buy them. Um, people have been telling me all kinds of prices. But before I can do that, I need to get everybody else's done that I already said I would make one for. Because, uh, boy, I just like how that sits. Nice and fat. I push the, I push the wheels out like that on purpose. You'll see when you get it. I try to get them just that beefy look, but not too ridiculous. I think that's perfect. And, uh course this one comes tucked and I leave it tucked because it looks cool like that and uh, anyway yeah I got to get some of these made and throw them on my site because I've seen what some people are selling and you know I guess these are I mean I wouldn't mind buying some of them but anyway you know if nothing else I'll have them but like I said I got some more I got to get done before I can start um, selling them because I already told people I would make them so I got actually yeah I've got one two three four I got about four more bad mans to do and uh go from there I think I'll be done with the bad man's then I got a couple other I got a cherry bomb to do that cherry bomb right there and then I think I'll be caught up and I can start trying to uh, get some made to put on my website and go from there so anyway thanks again guys thanks for watching hope you guys like your cars and uh, I'll try to get these shipped out of here today, which is Tuesday. There we go. Thanks again, guys. Go take it easy. Peace. Outro.